Betty J Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube People's Champ. Oh, do another reaction, baby. Apparently, this press conference got a little heated. Apparently, things didn't go according to plan. Let's check this thing out. Hi, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in in and in with the millions? Oh, and the millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J-Rock is here. Man, we're about to check out this press conference from WrestleMania 40 kickoff press conference. According to the thumbnail, why is The Rock standing with Roman Reigns? What the hell happened? We ain't gonna waste no time. Let's get into this. Just so you know, all you're gonna hear is the audio because, you know, WWE on this bull, copyright blocking everything. So all we're gonna hear is the audio, no video. All right, just give you a heads up. Um, and uh, lay the smack down on that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. Any donations you wanna send a great one's way, that super thanks button would be much appreciated. Oh, baby, you know what time it is. Showtime. A visionary. I am a revolutionary. I am your world heavyweight champion. I am Seth. Not too sure how why Seth is out there, but we'll see. Still a pretty big pop, I'd say. <laughs> In Vegas, we are on the road to WrestleMania. WrestleMania 40. WrestleMania XL Extra Large. The biggest WrestleMania of all time. <laughs> now, what do you say? We cut to the chase, and we get ourselves a main event. Oh, uh, okay. I make Now... Sense. I'm not the man to make that decision. I'm just a prize at the end of the road. So what do you say? We get the man who can make that decision out here. The two-time Royal Rumble winner. Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare himself, Cody Rhodes. And Cody's music. That's our travel trip. Uh, it's about to go down. I can't keep the video up for so long because no, you can like, oh, 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 oh. See, see how Roman is getting cheered? Las Vegas! They say he's the top deal in the company. Like, he's not, he's not a top deal. Acknowledge me! I would say Dominic Mysterio is the biggest deal because he don't get no shit. No. 
He just gets straight boo. Hey guys, he showed up for work once. <laughs> I love wow. to see it. Good to see it, big brother. And he showed up to work in his wife's shoes. His what, what, he, what kind of shoes he got on? Oh, anyway, don't be mad, don't be mad. I can oh, come on, Seth, bro. Seth, you kill me with the right damn now. shoes, brother. Come on, man. My daughter had those, but she was, man, come on. It's a, it's a little pageant girl shoe. Bow on them, brother. Take the bow off and good. I understand, you know, fashion and stuff. Let's talk about nice. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, extra. The man who can't make his own choice, huh? Mr. Hesitation. Here's a life lesson, kids. If you hesitate, your moment's gonna move on. Mm. And that's what's happened to Cody Rhodes. It's no longer his decision. It's now your tribal chief's decision. Okay. That's exactly how it works, thank you. So tonight, I choose who faces me in the main event of oh, really? WrestleMania. Okay. Get, get this bum out of here, will you? Get, just get this bum out of here already, huh? Damn, Roman. Self, I Damn choose. Back, baby. Back, Seth. Come on, man. You can't let nobody call you no bum. You got Rocky Chance, you got Cody Chance. I choose The Rock. Really? Oh. Like, it's one thing when you, when you come out to me, you come out to my children, oh, well, you, you gonna see a side that you don't wanna see. So The Rock might have to go back, you know, the attitude there, they, when he was with the nation's domination, trailer park trash, you know. Okay, all right. I'm a, uh, I'm a bit perplexed right now. She was mad. What's that? I can't. Wow. It ain't the. I don't know why I feel so upset. The Rock is. I think he's trying to protect Cole. Because to me, Roman not losing. He's not losing. He's going to break Hulk Hogan's record. I mean, they let Gunther break a record. The Usos broke a record. Bianca Belair broke a record. I'm not going to let Roman break the record. Come on, come on. Who in the rock? 
Finally! I don't remember that happening, sissy, when he came back as Hollywood. The Rock has come back to Las Vegas! He ain't really his jovial, exuberant self right now. Now let The Rock ask you a question. Do you think that Roman Reigns is gonna beat The Rock at WrestleMania? No, I don't. Sorry, no. Oh, Roman Reigns beat The Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roman Reigns beat The Rock. Yes, yes, yes. Or do you think that The Rock is gonna beat the Tribal Chief at WrestleMania? Folks saying triple threat match. No, no. Let Rock hold an L, and then Cody will, Cody will then, you know, defeat Roman at a later date and time. match with the crowd. It's one thing if they were torn. Bro. A lot of these folks are rock fans. That's what's crazy. When the rock came back, they like, yes. Was, no, just don't get him get in get in Cody's. that The Rock and Roman Reigns will be the biggest main event in the history of the WWE. Nah. <coughs> It'll be up there. Because The Rock and Stone Cold didn't have them some battles. Hulk Hogan All and right. Giant. I love the passion. Hulk Hogan the Rock the loves the passion. So, The Rock, John Cena. To members of the press, welcome. Glad you're here. To the WWE Universe. I gotta get a peek. I gotta get a peek. To the WWE Universe, welcome. To everyone watching around the world, welcome. And certainly, to the millions of The Rocks fans, welcome. And on top of all that, members of the press, world watching, I introduce you to the Cody Crybabies. Uh, <laughs> Come home. Come on, Rock. Oh, he, he finna get in his bag. He finna get in his bag. He finna get in his bag. Yeah, that's what I said. Fittin' up. Fittin' up. So did. Now, let The Rock show you all and everyone around the world. I'm gonna show you something right now that is very important. It's very cool, and I think you're gonna like it a lot. But regardless whether you like it or you don't like it, you love it, you hate it, one thing for damn sure, you are gonna respect it. Take a look. I wanna see, I wanna see. What is it? Oh! I can't 
and keep it up there long. But he got the bloodline. He got the whole family tree up there. Hot game. When you look at this incredible family tree, and I want you to take a look at the very top of the tree. At the top of that tree, The Rock's grandfather and Roman's grandfather made a blood oath in that our family in Samoan said, Ainga, Ainga forever. And if you can't see that, If you can't see the fact that this is proof that there is only one dominant and powerful royal family in professional wrestling. If you can't see that, and if Rock you turn. think that the heat. Rock and Roman Reigns isn't the biggest main event turn in the history heel. of WrestleMania, the then then save your booze save your booze then if that's what you think then in simple rock speak it doesn't matter what you think turn and heal WrestleMania 40, Philadelphia, The Rock and Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion versus the People's Champion. Whether you like it or you don't like it, the People's Champion in the biggest main event in the history of professional wrestling, bound by blood. What is happening right now? What is happening? Hold on, hold on. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, that's Cody! Oh, oh, this, that's Cody! This right here is Is what? Damn it. Somebody tell me what he said. They, I can't see it because I can't put the video up and they'll block it. Roman. Roman, you're out here calling the shots, dictating WrestleMania 40. And as the tribal chief, as the undisputed champion, you have a lot of stroke, but it is not your right. It is not your distinction to determine the main event. It is mine. I won the Royal Rumble. What does he, what is he saying? What is Cody trying to say? And Rock, we had a wonderful conversation. I had many conversations. I have made my decision. He, he gonna choose Roman. He gonna choose Roman. He gonna choose Roman. Damn it, I wish I could see the video. At WrestleMania 40 in the main event. I choose you, Roman Reigns. <laughs> what? What is, oh my God, what is happening right now? Tomorrow, let me know what's going on. Smackdown is tomorrow night. I, you must be crazy. You must be stupid or something, huh? This is a done deal. You're old news. Go over there with the number twos. The number two table will have you now. Wow. Loser bracket. Right there in the dummy in green. Just go, leave. you're embarrassing yourself now. Last year was your year. That was your moment. You were only a chapter in my book. Nobody cares about your story. Nobody cares about you finishing the story. You're embarrassing your entire family now. 
You just understand this. You're irrelevant. Just like your dad. Fair. Oh! Oh! Here you are. Here you are talking about family. Is that what the bloodline is? Let me ask you a question. How's Jay? It's not a family. You're a meal ticket. And they are nothing but lackeys, but yes men. They're I gotta, I gotta see, I gotta see, I gotta see. And what is this match all about right here? Who sits at the head of the table? What does it matter when neither of you have been doing any of the cooking for two years? Earlier, we had that family tree up there. And you've invoked my father before, so let me go ahead and do the same. If your grandfather was here, if the high chief, his grandfather, was here, they'd be ashamed of you. Wow. Bro, it's getting personal. Let me make something perfectly clear to you. Who are you talk talking to Cody? Hang on. When you talk about his family, you're talking about my family. When you're talking about his ancestors, you're talking about my ancestors. And when you're talking about his blood, you're talking about my blood. So now, we have a problem. What? What? Oh no he didn't! No he didn't! Oh no he didn't! No he didn't! Oh no he didn't! Bro! What the Wait a minute. Wait a Hold on one second. No, you don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Time out. Time out. Open your mouth about our family again. I've done it every single time. Uh-uh. Some ain't right about this. I don't know what some ain't right about this. Some ain't right. Take a swig. J-Rock says this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some pippin in it. Hang on a second. Something ain't right about this. Something seems off. J-Rock has been watching wrestling. I go all the way back to Saturday Night Main Event. I'm not talking about the, the retread they did in the mid-2000s. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the original Saturday Night Main Event in, 80, in the 80s. Back when they had Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior, Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, Ted DiBiase with Virgil, who then turned on him and went on his own. The Hart Foundation, The Rockers, Marty Jannetty, Shawn Michaels, Demolition, uh, Axe and Smash, then they had a crush with manager Mr. Fuji. Then they, uh, who do they have? The Berserker, Huff, Huff. Then they, and then who else do they have? Uh, uh, the Bushwhackers. Then they have Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Uh, uh, who else do they have? Uh, um, uh, the the, the American Dream Dusty Rose with Sapphire. Um, who else did they have? The Big Boss Man. I'm going all the the ravishing Rick Rude. I'm talking about all the way back, Mr. Perfect. That's how far back I go. 
I remember WCW when it was the NWA, back when they had the Round Robin tournament, back when the Stinger, Sting, the icon, back when he was had the, the, the blonde spiky hair and the face paint, and he was from Venice Beach, California. You know, he was the, you know, the WCW or NWA's version of the Ultimate Warrior. And 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 he was with the four horsemen. You had uh, uh, Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, uh, uh, um, Ole Anderson. Back when they had Barry Windham in there, Sid Vicious was in the Four Horsemen. Back when they had the Great Muda. Back when they had Doom uh, uh, with with Teddy Long as the manager, with Ron Simmons and Butch Reed. I'm going all the way back. They had Magnum T A. Back in the they had uh, 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 the Von Erics. They Kevin Sullivan. Uh, the great Muda, they had the, the Steiner brother, the Road Warriors. They weren't called the Legion of Doom. They were called the Road Warriors. I go back that far. And I've seen my fair share of storylines. Some made some sense, some didn't. But something about this seems off. Y'all remember, I think it was last week on SmackDown. Cody, I could be completely wrong. I, I'm, I'm just letting y'all know I could be completely wrong about this. Hang on. Y'all remember on SmackDown when Cody was saying he doesn't want just want to beat Roman for the title. He wants to take everything away from Roman. Y'all remember he said that? And they got the the, the, the the people's spider sense started tingling. Uh, and I'm sitting here wondering, what does he mean, take everything from Rome? What does that mean? The only thing that I could come up with, and keep in mind, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to filter back through uh, decades of storylines to try to see, okay, what is it, does he mean when he say that? But now that I've seen the press conference, or heard it rather, something don't, something ain't adding up, y'all. I know what they're showing us, but this seems like a sleight of hand. Hey, look over here while they got something going on over here. This doesn't seem as straightforward as it, it, it seems too matter of fact that The Rock would come in, shake hands with Cody, knowing their history between him and Cody, and now he is against Cody, or Cody's against, I don't understand. I understand The Rock standing up for his family, but for him to go to that extreme, and he wasn't even talking to The Rock, he was talking to Roman. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Let me, let me tell y'all what I think going on. Here's what I think is going on. I'm gonna take y'all back, all right? It just popped in my head, it just popped in my head. I'm gonna take y'all back to the Royal Rumble 1998. Stone Cold eliminated The Rock, Rocky Maivia, and, and won back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles. The camera immediately goes up to the rafters or to the, you know, right near the skybox. And Michael Cole has an interview with the man who is going to be the special guest enforcer at WrestleMania 14 between Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold, Iron Mike Tyson. The next night on Raw, Vince McMahon brings Mike out to the ring to talk to him about that. Before they can even get anything from Mike Tyson, the glass shatter, Stone Cold is walking down the ramp. And you like, oh my God, it's, it's about, about to, to go, go down. down. <clears throat> they get in the ring. Stone Cold lets Mike know, bruh, respect what you do in the boxing world, but you in my world now, son. This is this is my ring. Okay? Alright? And they go back and well, it ain't go back, it's more of a monologue than a dialogue. Stone Cold just talking all kind of trash to Mike. Mike is like, bruh, I ain't here for all this, Vince. I'm like, I don't want no trouble, bro. I just, you know. And then he he gives Mike the he gives Mike the double bird, 
and Mike is like, you want some of me? And he pushes Stone Cold, and all hell breaks loose. And you remember, you hear JR on the, on the, on the commentary, Tyson and Austin, Tyson and Austin, all hell is broken loose. This is pissed. You ruined it. You ruined it, damn it. You ruined it. You ruined it, damn it. Shane is in there, young Shane McMahon. You got the Stooges, Patterson and Briscoe in there. Money is flying all over the ring. I don't know whose money it was, but they had actual money flying on the people's pockets. You know, because Mike was had it like that back then. And then, then a week later, they bring Vince, I mean, they bring Mike back again. But this time, it's DX coming to the ring and it's Shawn Michaels who's going to challenge Iron Mike Tyson he's like you want to do it let's do it right now and just when you think Shawn is about to hit Mike he rips the shirt off to reveal a DX t-shirt so apparently Mike Tyson has joined D-Generation X or so it seems now it seems like the odds are stacked against Austin Austin is gonna have to overcome an insurmountable odd. It's bad enough you got Shawn Michaels, arguably the greatest wrestler of his generation. Then you got Triple H in China, all right? Even though Triple H, I mean, you know, he wasn't the game then, but he was still Triple H China, all right, rest in peace. And then you had the, the enforcer. Stone Cold ain't got no backup. All right, he's alienating himself from everybody in the locker room, especially, you know, with what happened in the Royal Rumble, even though he still won. Now he's got to go out there on his own, seemingly against four people. Um, and uh, long story short, Mike Tyson counts the three for Stone Cold. The guy who was supposed to be in DX counts the three for Stone Cold. And then Shawn Michaels get up like, bro, what the hell? You supposed to be with us, Mike? Well, you you supposed to be with us. You, 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 you got the DX on? And then Mike Tyson hits him with a right hand. And he falls down and he like, he raised a stone cold hand. And like, no, bro, this is my man's right here. I was playing, y'all. This feels eerily similar to that. Eerie similar to that. I don't know if it is, but it feels like The Rock and Cody are, they are plotting and scheming against Roman big time. Cause Cody wants to hit him right where it hurts. It's one thing to take his title. It's another thing to take his family. Oh, because Roman is supposed to be all about family. I'm the head of the table. I'm providing for the family. And he finna, ooh. And I just remember. The Rock was doing interviews talking about he, this, him and Roman, this is about the long game. The long game. I don't know if Cody's gonna win at Mania, because I'm of the belief they want Roman to break Cody's record. They want him to break Cody's, I mean, not Cody, uh, Hulk Hogan's record, excuse me. I'm just, I, I, this just, this just doesn't feel as, as straightforward as, as it seems, man. I honestly think The Rock and Cody are scheming against Roman. They're trying to get Roman to let his guard down because, I mean, it's his family. You know, he looks up to The Rock, right? But Cody is like, yeah, bro, I'm not going to just take your title. I'm going a, I'm to a take your family. But think about it, though. What if Cody beats Roman at Mania, right? The Rock screw, screws Roman. He hits Roman with a rock bottom. Hit him with the people's elbow. Cody comes in. He hit him with the crossroads. And can't nobody help Roman because maybe The Rock took out everybody. Maybe everybody's shocked. They don't know what to do because they like, bro, you, Jimmy is, is confused. Solo don't know what to do. You know, the wise man, Paul Heyman, he ain't gonna do nothing. And now Roman is like, bro, what the hell just happened? You were supposed to be with me. This is our family. Why are you joining him? And then now Roman and The Rock, they got this back and forth going. And now, and now, and now all uh, the family is in disarray. Cause you know, this, 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 this is our big brother. This is Rock. I mean, you know, we, we, how we gonna go against him? We know you're the tribal chief and everything, but come on, this is the, bro. 
Woo! I'm, it this doesn't feel, I'm just saying, I could be way off. Rock could, could join with Roman, and then right as Roman wins the title, he can hit him with, retains the title, he can raise his hand and then hit him with a rock bottom. And 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 it, it'd be like, okay, Cody, you had your shot, your story's done, now we finna do what we meant to do all along. You had to have your moment at Mania, you had it, it's over. But I'm, I'm thinking like, that ain't it, bro. I'm thinking that The Rock is going to turn on Roman. Man. All I know is this, bro. WrestleMania 40. I don't know the date off the top of my head. This damn, this damn match this mania is going to be everybody this is obviously going to be the coup de gras the finisher the main event of night two all right unless they pull another swerve and put the rock back in there with i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen but i just think roman gonna screw i just think roman is gonna screw i mean uh rock gonna screw roman i could be wrong but cody's saying he wants to he wants to do more than just beat him I don't know man this is this is gonna be interesting what do y'all think I want to know what y'all think each and one of every one of you watching let me know what y'all think about what y'all think is gonna happen between the rock Roman Reigns Cody Rhodes what does this mean for freaking Seth Rollins yo Seth bro you got to stand up for yourself bro stop letting this dude rock uh I mean Roman embarrass you get get this bum out of here like hold on bro like you not finna sit here and disrespect me like that dude oh, damn who you are and why cody just sit there and let rock slap him in the face no well that see that's another thing that's another thing that got me thinking that this is this is something more than what they're saying because cody is being way too nice about this okay he being way too nice about this all right he 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 gotta let the the nightmare part of his character come out, all right. That's another thing that got me. The fact that he just let the Rock slap him and he did nothing. That a part of it. Now you know Rock probably got all this insurance that you know he can't take no bumps so he'll lose his medical insurance. I don't know, right? He maybe got you know insurance of the Screen Actors Guild. I don't know what what the case is, but the fact of the matter is is that I feel like. This is just a work of the work. That's just what I think. I could be completely wrong, but I just can't wait and see. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed J-Rock's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba. GG and Wakanda forever. If you smell, what J Rock is.